Hi, I'm Rabbi Mark Klein, Mammoth Reform Temple. This is Shabbat Shalom with a heart healthy dose of Torah. My wife and I are watching more than our share of made for TV series right now with COVID, that's what we do. And we're learning a lot of things. We see how people spend episode after episode visiting new lands, meeting new life forms, realizing that everyone is a stranger, and learning that our ways are not always the best ways, even though we started every episode thinking that they were. The good guy at the beginning of the show is sometimes the bad guy at the end of the episode. And what we know for sure is that the uglier the physical characteristics of someone on the episode, the kinder their heart is. And conversely, the more someone looks like us and, and the, the, the Ken and Barbie look, the, the ideal, those are the characters you want to stay away from. And then there's the people that keep showing in up in cameos. And one episode, they're a good guy, and the next episode, they're not, and you never know sh where they stand. Um, we're all strangers. The TV teaches us a lot about life. You know, each of us in this real world lives with a unique view unto ourselves. And yet, we walk through this world believing that everybody else has to see the world through the very same lens that we see it. And if they don't, they're wrong. And if we're right and they're wrong, then hanging around them or tolerating them threatens our security, threatens the, the very being of our life. And so I heard several years back someone say to me, well, you know, if you're my wingman, if you don't do exactly what I tell you to do, then my life is at risk. And when I tried to say to this individual, we're not at war, he looked at me very sternly and said, we're always at war. There's something wrong with that answer. There's something wrong with us needing to see ourselves always being for or against. So enter the Torah portion this week. Exodus 21, 20 says, the stranger you will not wrong or oppress. Why don't we do this? The text goes on to say, because you were strangers in the land of Egypt. So we're supposed to have empathy for the stranger because we were strangers. I like that. But we've all been strangers in the new land. Whether we move from a foreign country to a city across the country to the school district next town over, we've all found ourselves playing the role of the other, playing the stranger. And on the one hand, with each move, we get to reinvent ourselves and whatever our insecurities from the past, they don't have to exist in the future. On the other hand, far more oppressive hand, we have to spend all of our time in this new realm trying to learn to fit in, trying to gain the respect of the people living in an already established way of life and culture, or we find ourselves left behind. But this isn't just about new people either. This is about people who have been in the land. We were in Egypt for generations before Pharaoh enslaved Israel. We had a life there. We had, gener we had children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. And then the world fell apart. Stranger is not just someone new. It's someone you dismiss, someone you want nothing to do with, someone to demean and oppress. So I think about our own country and how white Europeans came and just completely disrupted a Native American world that was not savage, that was not uncivilized. It lived by rules that made sense tribe to tribe. They lived off the land. They took care of the land. They were environmentalists at its finest. And yet we knew more than them about civilization. So what we did was we took the people who were native and we turned them into the stranger, took their homes and left them in refugee camps we now call reservations. And I think about black America and all people of color who came here to serve Americans and how we took people who have been here for generations and, and oppressed them even though we were the strangers and they were the strangers, we, we were the better strangers than they were. And even after liberation, that stranger status, that second class demeaning status still continued to exist. We live in a world that um, 
has to rethink this text from Torah. The Torah says, don't oppress the stranger. Don't oppress yourself, don't oppress anybody else. Since we're all strangers, we have to do everything we can to take care of each other because we've been on the short end, each of us. And it may not be this time and it may be not this lifetime, but at some point, all of us are going to be left out if we don't figure out how to take care of each other more holistically and more lovingly. Torah speaks to us not as a document written thousands of years ago, but today. So join us tonight, seven o'clock, mammothreformtemple.org, as we'll talk about making sure that we have a whole community. We talk about making sure that we respect and dignify each other, and we'll celebrate Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom.